Hey everybody, I'm Matt Graham, and um, I want to talk to you a little bit about my favorite footwear, and, and that's that's sandals. I use the Hirachi design, which is patterned after traditional Southwest, so the Tarahimara natives, they use it quite a bit. And one thing I like about this, super easy to make. So you could just take a piece of leather, or a lot of times I used to use a, a tire sole on the bottom, and um, it's just a leather core. It goes in three points of contact, it slips on the foot, just like that and then you're good to go it takes some getting used to with it between the toes but I've been using a sandal like this for about 25 years so I really love it and if you don't want to make your own there are companies like Luna that, that make this style so and they actually pattern it this is one of my favorites that they have it's called the origin and this is actually an old discarded tire that they have and then they put a leather top sole on there so it's very similar there's no cushion on this shoe, so if you're used to um, like, like high-end running shoes or highly supported shoes, it's going to take some getting used to with a shoe like this. But on the plus side, once you do slowly get used to it, slowly being the key, because you don't want to get injured, it'll strengthen your feet, cartilage, all the tissues in your body, and you'll have more natural running form and you'll feel directly connected to the earth. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's some different models. If, if you're not really ready to go with the no cushion deal, you could take something like, like this, same thing. It's got tire sole, but it's got a little bit of cushioning on the bottom there just for a little bit of give. And then it's got a textured top, so if it gets wet, it's not gonna slide around. And that's also the origin, I don't know, different model of the origin there. And um, the another model that, that Luna makes that I really like, I've actually, beat up quite a few of these. This is a newer one, it's called the Mono. And it's nice because it's super lightweight. It's just pure thin like a foam rubber. And after a while it kind of conforms to your feet and really it makes a nice shape. And moving on, here, here's another style right here. It's a really thin foam as well, super light. It's great for like traveling, moving around where you don't want to carry a heavy pair of sandals. This could be like a backup pair. And um, another company that I really enjoy is, um, is Zero Shoes. They actually make these that are just super thin rubber. And these things like, I mean, if you want like barefoot feel, I, that's pretty incredible. Like they just roll up to nothing. And uh, it's super tough. This will actually last a long time. This is called the, the Z Trek. Um, and it gets a little confusing because they have another model called the Z trail so it's like z track z trail so you never know it's z something just remember uh, but the difference is this one's super flexible and then this one is uh has super light but has just a tiny millimeter of foam in there so it gives a little bit more stiffness so if you want to run super aggressively down a trail this is a pretty good sandal for that so that's pretty much the skinny on on sandals you can either take take uh, material of yourself, leather, tires, make your own, or you can purchase from one of these companies like, like Lunar Zero Shoes, which I highly support. Um, they make awesome sandals, so get out there, get some happy feet. They won't be stinky, be aired out, you don't have to change your socks, feel directly connected to the ground, get some strong, healthy feet, but go slow, be careful, and just remember that if you've been wearing cushioned shoes for a while, it's an adjustment on the body, but eventually it starts to feel really good.